Campus protests continue around the country and we're seeing them in central Arkansas now. Students from Hendricks College led a peaceful protest outside the city hall in Conway yesterday. This is video from Little Rock Peace for Palestine, a group made up of Christians, Jews and Muslims against the killing and mistreatment of innocent Palestinian civilians. They are there to support the students and people of Faulkner County at the protest. Meanwhile, President Biden says campus protests supporting Palestinians in Gaza have not prompted him to rethink his Middle East policies. His first public comments come as police officers broke up an encampment overnight on UCLA's campus. And police in Portland cleared out protesters from a state university library there. Bradley Blackburn sums up the day's events from New York, where officers remain outside several campuses. Students at Portland State University were told to shelter in place Thursday as police cleared out the library, which had been occupied by protesters. Police say they found tools, improvised weapons, and paint balloons. And this is what remains after police cleared out the pro-Palestinian encampment on the campus of UCLA. Overnight, officers in riot gear moved in, ripping apart the barricades that had been set up. More than 100 protesters were arrested. We need to keep protesting, and that's the only way change will be made, right? By resisting the status quo. So. As the day wore on, officers continued to make arrests in areas outside the encampment. We are still seeing the uh, resistance on the far end uh, to my right. As protests on college campuses nationwide escalate, President Biden spoke out, condemning the violence. Breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. At George Washington University in D.C., there were dueling protests you are not alone. between protesters who were against the war in Gaza. Humanity wins when we bring them home. And pro-Israel demonstrators who want the focus to be on the release of the hostages. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.